Hello and welcome to Zach on the 3 TV. Today we are racing the Cars Land Cup Series at Indianapolis Road Course. It's our first race at this track in either the Cars Land Cup Series or NCCRS. Today I got Daniel Pauls Jr. with me up in the booth. And it uh, looks like starting polls Bradley Ream, the 28 Dodge uh, Mopar car. Ah. Uh, Starts interesting. He and General Chick 81 start pull. Um, they have not had a, very, a lot of very good starting positions in their career since 2021, which is definitely their best seasons for either of the drivers. Uh, they're not really associated, but funny enough, they still happen to start front row and they both have similar statistics when it comes to consistency and finishing. Where General Chick 81 was a lot more, was a little bit more consistent than Marley Lane last year. Um, they're kind of, and, and same can be said kind of for this year. Bradley Ream needs a little boost in points. He did well at the Jazz 500. He's led a lot more laps. Has already doubled how well he did this season or the last season. We're only eight races in. Richie 81 currently 10th in the standings. Looking to rebound, get some points, maybe go for the win again. Road course, so as much to be expected as is there. So, Daniel, any thoughts to come in, uh, come to mind? Any initial thoughts? Um, no, not really. I mean, all I can say is just don't overshoot the corners and don't make the drivers upset. It's pretty simple there, but yeah, we got us. We got a lot, a lot of not, not a lot going on, but it's some stuff. Very interesting top ten qualifying. See, Roach he did well at Cars and Super Speedway. Led a few laps, despite that, isn't is only twentieth in standings. Uh, consistency is key in this season, I've noticed. So, uh, starting, I guess, would be third here today. Uh, he's had a he's an interesting uh, possible rebound and Dripsy kind of in the same boat. A lot of guys up here, and also Roach, have a brand new scheme. Um, we got part time driver Anthony McClure, and then I think everyone next to him, Jacob Shangle. Oh, anyway, wait, that's Reggie Fulkman, but yeah, Jacob Shangle, um, and Bobby Isaac, um, both starting inside the top 10. They are way back in standings. This could be a good points day for them if they finish in their respective positions. And you see Robert Crown Jr. He's, he, he's been quietly good, and that's, he's done that every season. So uh, he might be a repeat here. Again, new mod. We'll see how it goes. And Ian Styles, and I think Dissect round up our top 10. Ian Styles is the part-time driver. The only part-time driver, I think, is that is not that did not qualify so well. Was uh, actually might not okay. Can't remember where they were at, but um, I think it was. I can't remember. Anyways, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much all coming into this. Again, the uh, not a lot huge up here, but you know, talking point standings, talking all that. Um, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of margins there. There's not a lot, but this is really just kind of a filler race. Um, you know, this race is voted into the schedule. Yeah, who knows? We could see, I did, I did a lot. I did a few tests on this track. I don't think we're going to see much or any yellows, but yeah, see how that goes. All right. About a minute to the command. Um, Again, not really a lot to report. Yeah, it's two Dodges, two Chevys, round up first two rows. And then a Ford. I think the highest starting Ford is Ian Tim McClure. Right next to him, another Dodge. Oh, Ro Roach Racing, they've been together. Roach and Jacob Shingle. Every time they've raced, they've raced together. And we've mostly seen it at Super Speedways, but we could see something similar here today at Indianapolis Road Course. And then Jessica was very quick in practice. Uh, for K and K racing, and then there's Bobby Isaac. He qualified better. And before I get, before I go to the command, there's Jessica. So we're starting kind of further back in the pack. So hopefully she gets a decent start and quite possible finish. So we're going to do the command now. Mm -hmm. Drivers, start your engines. Well, Daniel, we're in for 15 laps here of racing. Overtime mm -hmm. is a possibility. Yes. 
I doubt we'll see it, but it's a possibility as they get through these tricky corners. And you never know. It's a road course. Anything can happen. Yeah, we've seen the Old Spice. I think uh, we've really seen the Pulsar to win the race. Remember well, we've seen it in Old Spice where you saw like multiple drivers jump that restart. You know, we could get that here. We could have people dive bombing turn one. You don't really know. Funny enough, uh, NH, who won the Cup Old Spice race, is a, is a driver for Bradley Rain and the 28 Rough Ray Motorsports car. Starting to see first for consistency, maybe? We'll see. Uh huh. I'll let you call the green here once it comes out. No, here they come. As you see the 28 Bradley Green, three wide going into turn one. We're going to keep it clean here. Did you see the 81 of the drummer chick. Roach steals the lead from third. 28 Bradley Green's going to fall in second. As you see the 4 and 81 of drummer chick trying to hold on for third position. As we go on board of the rear cam here, we stick with Roach. Roach to hold the lead in turn one. What a what a move. Three wide and one to take the lead. And that's a risky move you don't really want to take, but if it works, it works. We were talking about Roach and how he, he's been very consistent, just hasn't been able to get the finishes he's been needing to do well in standings. And, uh, you know, this he just need, he needs to do that. Yeah, he just needs a good, a good exit plan, I would say. Yeah, there's Bradley Ream. He's diving in there. We could see him try to rage back, try to get this lead back here before he his turn, uh, finish lap one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it doesn't quite get the run. I think Roach has got this uh, this lap here. You see a field is spread out quite a bit. As uh, again, This is Indianapolis. All I can have him. Yeah, Bradley Ream there right in turn one. He, and the question is, is Roach going to be able to like change his lineup or is Bradley Ream going to pressure him out the way? I mean, it's going to be interesting to see whose car is faster. Who's getting got better exits off the corners. It's a lot going to factor into this. Yeah, and the one thing I want to point out is don't forget the 81 of Drummer Chick in third place right now. You know, if let's say Bradley and Roach get together or they start battling, the 81 could catch them easily and it could be a three car battle for the race win here. Yes, because you see uh, Jacob Shangle in the 64 trying to get around 71 and Bobby Isaac. <laughs> and again, they're battling up here for, I believe, seventh place and they're usually battling the back for position. Jacob Shangle's been probably a little bit quicker than um, the 71, led some laps uh, last week at Talladega and finally found something and I think he uh, got a really good setup for those races. Really good battle between these two for, I believe, seventh. Ooh, almost contact there. He's sending in, but I think Bobby Isaac's got the spot. Or he's going to keep the spot, rather. Yep. Rally Ream has lost time to the 66. He have had a bad corner combination of things could happen tire wear can be an issue too here you don't want to overheat the tires too yeah, if you mess up your tires this early it's lap three out of 15 yeah, it's gonna be a really long race for you yeah 21 or birth crown jr battling with reggie fogelman and dissect for 10th place looks like dissect getting the better of that he is not really oh shown It was though Dysek has not really shown you know, the consistency that he's had in, year, in seasons past. I mean, last season got a win, mid-season, and um, he um, doing well today. Currently running 
I mean, he's, he's, he's trying to take t uh, get a tenth here on this time by, but that's... Again, we haven't seen consistency out of him. This may be him trying to get his shine back. And we got more rookies. This is a new car. It's a lot can factor into that. Yeah. Still got a As... between Roji and uh, Birth Crown. Good now there between 21 and 5. As we head back up to the front here, the check in on Roach and Bradley Ream. As you see, 66 of Roach entering turn 1, still in the lead, as the 28 is falling off a little bit each lap. Yeah, he's just, I mean, he's, he had him like, briefly, but he just, if something, 66 might have found a different line. I don't know. Or he used his tire wear like really early. I don't know. Maybe he's saving up his tires. You know, it's really early in the race. Well, let's see. He could. Seven to die sick. Uh, there's Abigail Lane. Looks like she has oh, some yeah. severe damage. This may be a yellow. I think Take we should get a um... She might got happen. hooked here. I don't know. Abigail Lane's severe damage. Doesn't look like it was a hazard, though. But damage yeah. enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like she's going to get oh. hooked. Oh, oh yeah. no. That she just gets that warrants the yellow. In. Yeah. That does warrant a yellow. Oh, my. So that's slap three. It's like we'll go... Make sure the pace car is out for our first caution of the day. And this is going to be an interesting restart now, Zach. Who do you expect to come down the pit road, and who do you expect not to pit? I don't even know if we're going to see pit stops, but that's going to be interesting to know as well. See, we could uh -huh. see some guys pit. So, I believe Bird may have been the cause of this wreck somewhere... In the spectrum, this is way back in the pack. You see Rick Riven Jr. Oh, yeah, we got into the 67. Oh, the one a quadruped was stopped on the track, and that's six. That will be oh, and then hard hits the nine. May have to EOL the one for causing that accident. Let's see what happened to him. And he was in 28th. Still, this is like mid pack, latter half of the pack. Cars aren't running so well. Oh, got into Jonah Birds there. Slid up the track. And made a rookie mistake going right in front of Bird. Bird also did come off the track a little bit. But nonetheless, that's how it is. So, where are yeah. you going? I think that's going to do it for the 44. Yeah, 44 and I believe is out of the race after that. After flipping, but... Yes, we are under yellow. Make sure the pace car is doing what it's supposed to. This is just some more laps led for Roach. Make check up on the one, so he's pacing around. Make sure. So 44 did call the race the six with heavy damage after colliding into the 18. 18 is still on the track. I believe the last running car. So, hopefully, uh, he gets his first done. But really tough break for Lethal Mourner. Had a really good race. Or, actually, he hasn't had a really good race. He is last in standing. So, this is going to add another DNF to his standings. He is just... His past two seasons in the Cup Series have been very, very rough and bad. So, hopefully, a recovery can be made soon. The pace speeds here are fairly quick. It's interesting. See pace car. It's like pace car's going green. Pace car's going to come in. Yeah, it looks like it's going to come in this time. So we were good. Um, so first caution of the day, come out lot four for the 44, 6, 18, and the 1. The 1 will get black flagged once the race is resumed. Once we're under green, pretty much. Now, Zach, what do you think good. What do you think the 20 Bradley Reams expecting during this restart? You think the... 81 of Drummer Chick's gonna get around both of them, like Roach did in the beginning of this race, or do you think Roach is gonna hold on to this lead? I think it's anyone's game. 
I'm gonna go to pit right here. One real quick. Sure, my AC's on the right stuff. All right. So it is now at a point now where if we do get a yellow at the end of a race, it will be official. So they're now doubled up. So again, we see Roach take the start and from the position drum trick 81's in right now. I don't know if we're yeah. going to see the same thing, but we've seen these guys fan out a little big time in turn one. I think that's really going to be interesting in itself. Yeah. And Bradley Ream, he could get the run off the top and maybe start leading some laps. Well, we're about to find out as they're coming down to the front stretch. Roach and Bradley Ream leading the pack back to green here on lap seven here at the Indianapolis Road Course. Ooh, 28 jump to start. Uh, it's off to review if it was by a car length or not. We'll make sure we go through turn one here oh. before. Ooh, 28 did take the lead there. We'll have to look, re look at that start. From you might get black flag from a jump start. We'll have to take a look here. Okay, no, he was not ahead by a car length. That's, that's our rule. Car length. He was already in line though at the point. Well, no. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wasn't ahead by a car length it's and like, he wasn't in line. Like either. Half. I'll let it slide because he technically, 20 minutes just got a better start. Yes. So it's car length at the line is the rule that we have good judgment as there's a car in the grass. <laughs> Who was that? Not sure. I think they got it fixed, though. Yeah, I'll do a whole lot of kinks and stuff in the back of the pack. Yeah. A lot of laps led for Roach, though. He led a good six laps. Is Riley are trying to get some laps led here as well. From Chickadee 1, able to take second away from the 66. And a 32 of Exo behind them, who wasn't even in the top 10 to start this race. Whoa! Look at that. That was close. Between Roach and Drummer, check right there. Thought about 81 kind of block there. Ooh, sure. Third check. Bump into the one there. Oh, we lose a ton of time there off that one. After a much better round of corners by Drummer Chick. Yeah, Exo not doing too well in standings either, but has been. Currently in a spot for a top five finish. Ethan McClure also looking for a top five as well. Definitely. And that's Ethan a McClure. good it's a good run for the thirty two. Now we haven't seen a thirty two up in the front lately. And I think Exo's doing a wonderful job here at Indy. Yeah, it looks like it. The one was sent to the end of the longest line on that start. He has dripped to 40th, along with cars that were damaged. A six car running without a hood right now. Uh, they were they were actually doing we were doing fairly okay in standings, and then last race, the past couple races, has been rough. And it looks like that streak's going to continue here at Indianapolis Road Course. Two super speedways in a row just didn't treat some of these guys again. Ooh, rather we're getting pretty close to that wall there. Yeah, be really careful hitting that wall. That wall does have something sticking out. If you hit it wrong, you are going flying. And I am yep. not joking. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I think if we don't get a caution, I think it's the 28 of Bradley Reams' race. As yeah, you see, we're already on lap 9 out of 15. Yeah, go ahead and check and make sure no one's considerably far back now. Only car out of the race right now is the car that needs to be in the race because he's dead last in the sittings coming into this race. Or he's currently dead last in the race. He's going to finish dead last in the race with zero points to his name <laughs> in this race. So his race has gone from bad to worse to the season going from bad to worse. Uh, yeah, um, Riley Ream, leading. Yep, 
there's really not much to that other than that. I mean, unless we get a yellow, I think this field is set. But interesting top 10 nonetheless. Got Dripsy right there in sticks right behind Anthony McClure. Been shadowly consistent. They're currently right at the transfer spot in the standings right now. And this finish, I'm sure, would. Ooh, man. Four car making. He's won that. He's won that fourth place spot back. Man, he almost put the 32 in the wall there into turn 17, I guess it was. Yeah. yeah. Gonna stick here. Well, no. Got the 32 on the apron. Made it stick. That's how you get around somebody. 54 wants that spot, too. <laughs> yep, seen that loophole. Let me try to use it. So we got two part-time drivers in the top 10. Anthony McClure and Ian Stiles in the 86. Ian Stiles in the 8th. And then it's just good, good, good looking day for Bobby Isaac. I don't believe he has any top 10s yet this season. Right now looking to get his first. The season then um, we've seen Eli the Wolf really take off um, a few, after race three. Uh, took the position from um, Crazy BGD for Rookie of the Year. Um, but it looks like BD, BGD is currently make, clawing back, making that uh, Rookie of the Year battle much more close. As you see, Evan H in 27th. A lot of these cars in the back, they're usually up front. So, yeah, yeah. it's kind of a wild card in the in the algorithm. But, yeah, that 13 car running in 10th. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. The field's just spread, spreading out more and more each lap. Um, mm-hmm. I would really say the four car is probably the fastest of these guys. He's just maybe playing a little conservative. But then again, maybe he used up too much of his stuff trying to get around that 32. And now he can yeah. really snatch up to the 81 or 66. But he was arguably one of the faster cars, if not fastest. But fortunately, with those tires, we might have a pass for second here. And we do. Yeah, drummer check 81 on the inside of the 66 of Roach. And this Roach trying to get around the 81. It looks like the 81 got a huge run off that corner. He's still going to try to offend here, but the 81 He's clear. closes in to clear the 66 after charging turn one. Now, is the 66 going to get to the 81? Drummer checks bumper through the S's. Uh, no, he's not going to get there. Yeah, we're closing the inner laps of these races. This is a very short race, and you know, Riley Ream getting some good laps. So he could use them. He's not doing too well in standings. Roach led a few laps, showing that he's probably going to have a few more. He's going to, it's pretty consistent when it comes to leading laps. Again, finishing is, isn't really what's helped him. And this third place finish, is, if he keeps it here or even gets around 81, can be good as he tries again. Ooh, slides it in. Make sure not to put the 81 in the wall. Very respectable move. Definitely could have spun out the 81 if German Chick there very easily, but decided not to. For sure. Yeah, Bradley Rooms is checked out. Three point three second lead over these guys right now. Uh, he this is his race to lose for sure. And if there's yeah. at this point, it will be an overtime. He had a little I, brief battle in the back for tenth. I don't think we're gonna get a caution here. I think the drivers are pretty spread out now. And I think they're just gonna keep running the way they are. Kazo is taking sec second or tenth place from Cruz BGD. Give your statistics. I don't think that 66 is gonna give up on the 81 car quite yet, but let's see where tires fall in that four car with this battle up here despite him. I think he's really wearing his tires, but. These guys battling nonetheless have caused him to catch up, and that 28 car has just checked himself out, looking to get his first win in Cars Line Cup Series since Auto Club um, Fall 2021, which was uh, a couple of years ago, or almost two years ago. Yeah, it looks like 66 uh, Roach trying to close in on the 81 there. Didn't quite make it work. Oh, well, Roach just catch up to the 81 of Drummer Chick. On the front stretch, the 66 has caught the 81 for second place. Is the 66 going to make a dive bomb in turn one? We don't know, but here comes the four catching the 66. Oh, four takes a lot lower lane coming into the corner there. 
Oh, we got loose. I think he got that 66 loose. And that really, I think that got that 20 to 81 where they can be to uh, to the finish. And that four car wants third now. Yeah, now it's going to be between about between the four car and the 66 of Roach. I think this if the 66 of Roach had a chance, he had it there on the front straightaway. But I think that's going to basically wrap it up for second place. Yeah, German Chick again hasn't won a race in a minute. I think he got a couple second place finishes last season. But uh, we'll see how they do. I mean, they're going to get interesting help in standings. Uh, they're currently 10th as of the as of prior to this race. Is Bradley Green was well outside the top 30. Or top 20, anyway, for that matter. But, um, Roach, he's... 20th, so he's going to get a good points day and then good points there for the 32, 54. I think 21 is going to come out kind of average here. He's already kind of 14th in the standings, but you, know, you can always use that 80 baby. You can use that help to, and that might be big come towards the end of the season for that 21. We'll, we'll see. And then, yeah, we're coming to two to go. There's Ian Styles, part time guy, getting some cup experience. And then Bobby Isaac looking for his first top 10 of the ninth. And then Fourth, tenth place is the 40 of Cazzo. And that's another driver we haven't talked a lot lately is uh, Cazzo, that 40 car, 10th place. You know, again, a top 10 here on the Indy Road course is pretty good, and it's going to help him in the standings a lot. But I think he's going to have to keep going on a good hot streak here, keep getting these top 10s, top 5s, and possibly get a win if he wants to get a chance in these playoffs. I mean, he's been, he's not been consistent, but he's been good when it counts. He's currently 15th in the standings. I wouldn't count him out of it, but it's really early in the season. But consistency now is just as good. It's just as important as consistency later in the season. Yes. As we head back up front to the leader, the 28 of Bradley Reed led most of these laps today here at the Indy Road Course. Here he comes. He's going to make his way down to the front straightaway through the final turn. He's going to come down two. front stretch, and he's going to take the white flag. So now from here on out, since he took the white flag, caution or no caution, the checkers will fly here at Indy Road Course. Bradley Ream has a 3.7 second lead over to 81, drummer chicken second. And Roach with five second distance from him in third place. I think I've seen the 54 trying to get around the four there and does. So Dripsy takes fifth place from the four of Anthony McClure. I think he also lost a spot to the 32. As well, so is what was looking to be a top five is turned into a top ten. Very and look at Exo. Exo's in the top five. I mean, he was back there in the top ten, but he made his way up somehow, and uh, I couldn't be any more happier with his finish tonight here. Three more corners. And one corner and a stretch separate him from his first win since 2021. Comes off of, I believe it's turn 17 for the final time, and Bradley Ream will win here at Indianapolis Road Course. Ethan McClure makes a final attempt for a top five does not get it but put a good fight and it was definitely one of the quicker cars will be interesting to watch uh, not next week or week after and see if this maybe helps him for this race in the nccrs that's going to be in a couple weeks or a few weeks so yes Let's see how that goes it was an interesting fun race Oh, any last thoughts? Daniel? Well, um, 
Let me see as he's he's off. But anyways, uh, this has been the Cars and Cup Series at Indianapolis Road Course Race Eight. I don't know if this is gonna shake up stands a whole lot, but we'll take it. We'll have we'll know about that sooner or later. And congratulations to Bradley Ream on his first win since um, late 2021. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, it's for me and uh, Daniel. We'll see you next race, or well, we'll see you when we see you. <laughs> <laughs>